Alright guys, so what's up? Today we're gonna be talking if skate videos are important, like full length skate videos, like one hour long, 30 minutes long, because the internet and Instagram and social media has definitely taken video, like full length skate videos, like kind of made them dead to the point where a lot of people like five years older than me didn't have the access of YouTube when I had it. I'm not saying they're old, I'm just saying at their time, when they were my age, when they were 10, when they were 12, they didn't They didn't get on Instagram and was like, oh, what's my favorite skateboarder doing? No, they had to wait one year, maybe two years, for them to see a new video part through a skate video. And I wanna share some information. Whenever I got my first skate video, it was called That's Life which is foundation video, like, you know, foundation. It, they just came out with the video, uh, I don't even know what's it's called. Oddity. And that video was awesome. I saw the full length and everything. But the point that we're trying to talk about, and this is a discussion, just leave comments if you guys feel the same way. Skate videos seem like they're dying. They're becoming this rare thing. And it's just like people release Instagram clips that becomes more important than a full video part and then a video part just becomes a loan which is a skateboarder dropping it for the skateboard company it could be like let's say for uh let's say i'm dropping an edit for plan b hypothetically i don't write i don't write for plan b but i'm dropping an edit without my team it's just like wow that was cool but it would be way better to see it a full length where it's like you can see every other rider dropping their part with the team members that's just me and I remember whenever I saw, <laughs> whenever I saw Foundation That's Life, I was tripping out. I was like, wow, these guys are killing it. Was my first this, one too. this is the full, this is the team? <clears throat> and I was so hyped on it. I remember seeing Angel Ramirez. That, that little dude had a huge impact on me. I saw Corey Duffel became one of my favorite oh, skateboarders. Yeah, yeah. Leo Romero was the king of handrails in my eyes in that re in that video of course this is all my opinion and it's not the truth but these are things i was seeing and i was like wow these guys are shredding hard i love this so i don't know well how do you feel about these the skate videos are they dying do you think because we just saw i don't know if you guys saw it, but the new pyramid country video was beautiful i loved it it was so sick i know that's not the full team but for them to come out with a full length it was super sick it was it was it was it was hello my name is mark what the heck no um this is a really good talk i think because in 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 my in my uh, in my love for this craft of skateboarding, what I I what I when I woke up this morning, the first thing I did was was put on a Pyramid Country video on YouTube, and I was thinking to myself, you know, and I was thinking to myself. I don't really know about the skateboarding culture before like before foundation that's life foundation that's life was m also my that and trans world in bloom were my first skateboard movies I ever saw and I actually had the hard copies of it shout out to Paul Garza that's my big brother he he gave them to me he was like you can have them you know and I was, I was, uh, I was 11 years old at that time. I was 10, 10, 11 years old, and just, and and I fell in love with the man. It, and, and my, when I, when earlier, what I, getting back to like earlier. Oh, dude, what up, yes. son? Yes, up. I'm let's up. get. We're setting what, up. what do you think about Whoa. skate videos? Do you think they're dying? How important do you think skate videos are? Do skate videos are is it, is still, it? still, is it fucking still as important as they ever were, dude? But do you feel like they're coming? Less skate videos are coming out. I do because everything's going straight to the internet. Like everything's going straight to the internet. Now, There's like this, no this more physical will, copies. We're talking physical about, copies yeah, don't. We're, yeah, physical copies are like they're, they're dying. 
They're like dying out I because of the internet. I yeah? woke up this morning and the first thing I put on was the new Pyramid Country video, right? And my, and 10 minutes into it, I was like, yo, there is so much other skate videos out that I've never even heard of and watched. That's so much more inspiration than I could be getting. And, I, and it's like, dog, this cold, this, this skateboarding goes back in the 50s, yo. Videos were coming out in the 70s and 80s, and I think a lot of people our age have yet to discover those. And for the dudes that do know about them, it's like, I feel like they're, they're really authentic. They're really like, you know, it's cool. What do you think about skate videos? Like full length skate videos? I think, I think they're important. How important would you say? Um, very. Um, what was your first skate video? <laughs> that I ever watched? Yeah. Probably Baker 2G. How, how, how did Baker 2G influence you? Like in skateboarding, like before that skate video, did you, how did it make you see skate, did it like kind of see all this funner. skateboarding? It made it look funner. Yeah. It made it look funner? Yeah, they were having all kinds of fun, so I was like, man. There's a lot of potential in this, yeah. And imagine what they look like, like in the, the videos that came out in the 70s and the 80s, like, dude, like they were still doing this, skateboarding, but 40 years ago, you know? And I just feel like, uh, I feel like we can't forget that, you know? Like, you can't, you know, I know this whole Instagram frenzy is going on and everyone wants to land a trick and put it straight to the internet, but... I don't know, man. There's something about saving it too, you know, for a video. What was your first skate video? I liked it. Miss Lady Youth. And how how did that impact you? That was the scariest shit I ever seen in my life. I was like, yo, like people can do this, like really, like people are really doing this. So you didn't think that was possible? No, I, that shit was like, I was like, it's unreal. As a kid, but I was like, people are doing it, so it is possible. Did that open your mind up? Like, oh shit, like I could do this too then. Yeah, so it was like, yeah, possibly you could possibly do it. Yeah. So trying to it out right now. Like the hottest point. So I think it was like two. Years. What was your first skate video that you watched? Ever watched? Yeah. If you still remember. Fuck, oh, dude. Um, I think it was called Modus Operanda. Oh! And how did that influence you? Modus Operanda. Oh, God, dude. That's a girl video. Right? I don't know, dude. Just watching, like, uh, Brian Anderson and shit. Mark Johnson and listen to how he, like, talked about skating. Just made me want to, like, try new shit and just get more into it and go, go other places and just skate in the neighborhood. So how would you say uh, watching a skate video compared to getting on YouTube or getting on Instagram and watching them through like little clips or just one minute edits, how would you compare that to a full length skate video? Oh, it's totally different man, like you put in a lot of work and it's like a whole project. YouTube is just like flooded with anything you want to see. I mean it's cool but I like skate videos a little bit more betterly. So what can you take from a full length skate video that you can't take through an Instagram one minute edit? Well that's a good question man. Work man. Like, Work? Yeah. Do you think a lot of people take full length skate videos that are coming out now and that are yet to come out for granted? Yeah definitely. Cause... I don't even think there are full lengths that come out. Like, I think there's like 20 minute, I mean a 20 minute video is a full length but I don't think Hard copies come out anymore, do they? I think I think it's all just streamed. It's just crazy because like Chris Jocelyn can drop a whole fucking part in like a week on <laughs> Instagram, <laughs> and it's crazy. It's crazier than like a video that comes out, but but like a video, you get to go and go to the premiere and like see like the hype that everyone feels from. And it's like magic, the, right? Yeah, it's totally different than just going on YouTube and what. Like it's cool, like if someone comes out with their like. Pro. Street edit or something. Yeah, something like that. But I watch it and forget about it. <laughs> yeah, because I, I buy skate videos and I still, I'll still watch. Like, yeah. have you? Uh, did you watch Foundation Oddity video? Um, I'm sure we watched it. Impact a lot. Did? Can you still remember it? Um, just, just not, mainly full. Not really. Home, home. I don't really remember That's Foundation. Uh, I watched the video the other day. Going through my skate videos. It was called like, uh, this is why or something. Ah. I was looking for a skate video to watch, and I found that one. I was like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna watch this right here. Damn, thank you, bro. <laughs> thank you. All right. And cool. I think 
I think when you say it's cool that you can go on YouTube and watch these things, in a sense because it's so... Well, you don't have to spend money. You don't have to spend money. You don't have to go to the skate shop hoping they have that video that you want and then they don't. It's You just type it in and it's there. And that's cool. But... And my whole thing was earlier when I woke up, it was like, dude, there are actually videos that are not on YouTube that are skateboarding that are hard copies that are in the dungeon. You gotta go and search those. And I just want, you know, dudes that are our age to not forget that, yo. Like, dude, there is still, if, if, if you feel like you're running out of things to watch, just know, dog, that there is, there is a library of, of skateboarding flicks that are, you know, obtainable, hard copies, you know? And that's what my that's what my thing was. Are you setting up? A, are you setting up a, like a post pair too? Yeah, <laughs> that's my old boy. <laughs> <laughs> and what we're trying to say through this video is like, don't forget that full length that's skate videos. Scared. What you get through skate videos is like your first full length skate video could bring you something else that a YouTube or an Instagram edit can't bring you. You see these skaters work really hard for certain tricks and you may think it's first try but certainly it's like five hours maybe it's five days going back of hard work and by watching these full length skate videos you're allowed to you you support them by watching that that's all they could ever ask for and what you can what you also grab is certain tricks you may never see from someone else like let's say someone does a wall ride down a 15 stair I'm not gonna see that on Instagram I'm gonna see it in the edit that skater chose a song to that edit because they wanted to see you they wanted to wanted you to see their video in a way that no one else could see it because it's their mind their tricks and it's just you building up creativity through skate videos so I encourage all of you to watch skate videos full length skate videos because you'll definitely get a lot of interesting awesome skating tricks and you get your that hype rolling like wow I want to go skate like before I came to the skate park I was watching pretty sweet it's been a really long time and I have that on my computer I and I seen it yeah and now it's just like I, I want to watch this I was watching and I was like wow guy Mariano is so legendary for what he's doing and it's like it took me maybe what like it came out in 2012 it's 2017 five years later to realize that so it's just insane what do and we go through? It doesn't have to be the best, man. You know, like you don't have to do the gnarliest shit. Like skateboarding videos back then, it was just like Bernie said, dude. It was about having fun, man. You don't have to fucking launch down, you know, twenty stair handrails. Like, dude, it's 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 individualistic, man. Do what your body, you know, do do what feels fun, man. You don't. It doesn't have to be the gnarliest shit. And that's, that's what you can learn, I, believe, I think, from like old skate flicks, you know? Like, dude. And it's funny because what's, what's trending, quote unquote, now is like old school shit. People, people yeah, are. Very true. Like the no complies and body burials and, yeah, dude, all of it. It's dude, full cycle. But, yeah, dude, just have fun, you know? That's like the, that's, the, that's why we do it, because it's fun. And at the same time, yeah, you can progress with this shit, but it's fun, man, you know? It's, it's, like, it's seriously, you get to express yourself through it, you know, like, nobody skates the same. We can all do the same trick, but it's not the same, you know? Expressing, that sounds, I mean, when, when people say it, expressing yourself through skateboarding, it, like, it puzzles me, because I'm like, what does that mean, you know? And I, I think what that means is, like, our body language is different on a board, all of us. None of us skate the same. So I think, well, that, yeah, that's a form. Yep. But it puzzles me because I'm like, you know, it, it is, you know, it's really expressing yourself because if I want to go and do that handrail, that's cool. And then this other cat, you know, he'll want to just wall ride this right here. And it's still the same level of fun, dude, you know? I think that's where it comes in is expressing yourself. So you don't have to be, you know, you don't got to kill yourself every day, dude. It's, it's just, it's expressing yourself. So, yeah, that's cool. Skateboarding is about having fun. So if someone tells you that's not how you skateboard, they're having not fun. It's not. So do whatever you want on a skateboard, but I highly encourage watching skate videos. A few that I would encourage that are really about fun, go watch a lot of enjoy videos. Tilt mode. Tilt you know, mode army yeah. videos. You'll you'll laugh and you'll have a good time watching those. Dude, watch anything with Louis Barletta in it. Yeah. <laughs> anything with Louis in it, dude. Yes. Yeah. And he hasn't seen Mowgli hasn't watched The Firm. You guys oh, gotta man, watch dude. The can't Firm. Stop, yeah, can't, dude, watch that. Yeah, can't stop the firm, dude. It's the gnarliest video, dude. Everybody. All you dude, guys out there, everybody make good. that yeah. see, like that's the thing, you know? There's bucket list of videos you gotta see. Pretty sweet is one on mine. 
and you guys gotta watch the firm. All right, guys. So we're we're done with this the discussion firm. and firm, well, our thoughts on Why if skate videos video? matter. Leave a comment below with your guys' favorite skate video. Mine is That's Life, and will always be That's Life because it's one of my favorites. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Sign out to tomorrow.